burns and scars on my breasts after using this boob tape from an instagram supplier i was in nigeria at the time i had ordered for the boob tapes because i was going out i didn't want my bra to show like in this video it was a backless dress so the boob tape did the job but within three hours i started feeling some burns on my skin at first it felt itchy you know how like something is just just clawing at you that's exactly how it felt i was at a party so when i went to the bathroom to check i was like what this thing has sliced my skin i could see my inner flesh trust me this was not something that i was sitting down with and smiling about i ran back home and i took everything off soaked the tape in water before like pulling it off by the time i pulled everything off scars left right and center i was really screaming because i was so scared i reached out to the brand i'm like guys how could you send me this like your tape literally burnt me the lady was like oh you didn't wear it properly next thing she just quickly rescinded that message she sent to me the message disappeared then she writes we were supposed to send you instructions on how to wear and use your boob tape but it was our fault we didn't send you the proper instruction i'm like yeah okay so what are we doing to compensate this because at this point i'm going to have to meet my dermatologist to ask how do we get this back to normal so obviously consultation that's money being spent it's not just going to be one treatment possibly treatment over time like these scars were deep the lady was like oh let me speak to my boss and get back to you that's a normal tactic it's a delaying tactic we understand that i'm in business too i understand that next thing you know the boss is like oh can i speak to you over the phone and this is where i should have known that this was the problem was that over the phone obviously i was not recording that conversation when i spoke to him on the phone he was asking me all these questions and it seemed a bit intrusive but at this point we're talking about my boobs this is a guy that owns this boob tape business and I had to show the guy my boobs. Obviously, I covered the nipples and whatnot, but I sent him the pictures. The pictures of my boobs are floating somewhere. The guy just says to me, okay, let me speak with my team and I'll get back to you. Further delaying. The next morning, I just got a text message saying, the only thing we can offer you is 5,000 Naira refund for the boob tip that you bought. Are you fucking joking? Like... 5,000 Naira refund for the boob tape. How about everything else? And by that time, by the time they reached out to me the next day, I had already spoken to my dermatologist. I had spoken to several. You're telling me 5,000 Naira? Like, we're looking at, like, treatments, snake oils, and all sorts of things. Upwards of 75,000. Like, upwards of that. Just one small, tiny bottle of the ointment was at least 55,000 Naira. Talk less of other things. Consultation fee and all of these other things. My guy said to me 5,000 Naira is all he can offer me. Like, he didn't even add the delivery fee that I paid to get the boob tape. Like, what the fuck is this? So, I wrote an article about this. And... It was first an Instagram guide. And you know how Instagram guides work. If you don't, you can easily just save a post on Instagram. If you want to write about something, a topic, you can save some pictures off of Instagram that highlights that topic. And you can just attach it into the post. So that's exactly what I did for this boob tape situation. I went onto their page. I found pictures of the boob tape. And I attached it into this story. Before the cock crowed three times. I checked that article again only to see that the pictures that I had gotten from their page None of the pictures were in my article anymore You would just see black because they had deleted all those pictures And possibly blocked me as well But I still have my correspondence and I matched to my father who's an attorney And I was like, you know what, we need to sue these people Of course that man doesn't take me seriously He's like, oh, we're suing about breasts and stuff like that oh, If it was somebody else that was paying heavy money, of course he would have listened to it But it's his daughter and I use him for free legal advice so clearly he wasn't taking the thing seriously but if i were if i had the money i would have sued these people and i would have dealt with these people seriously anyway i then wrote another article i was like oh wow okay so my instagram article you guys want to tamper with that i'm going straight to linkedin i'm going to where the big bosses are to write my article and post my article for the world to see that's exactly what I did. And that's how most of you found me off of LinkedIn. I started getting messages from girls in Michigan, in the States, from Jamaica, Montego Bay, different places in the world. Girls were reaching out to me like, oh my God, something like this happened to me too. Something like this happened to me too. Please, can you tell me that there's light at the end of the tunnel? I was like, girls, don't worry. There is light at the end of the tunnel. I had to find like some organic mixes online to rob and heal myself which i can do another video if that's what you guys want 
but i literally had to sort this out myself in the most affordable most organic fashion and i really didn't know what i was working with but a lot of research online helped so now i'm an expert in that but that's besides the point there are still many other brands that are out there destroying other people's boobs because i'm getting all the dms in my inbox saying these things are happening to other people as well so please i am begging you before you buy a boob tape from any of these retailers do your research